the slide holder box is going to contain three slides that have a frosted edge on them. You're going to put the blood smear on those. There's going to be one additional slide that you're going to be using to create the thin film and you're going to create a nice film with it. I'm going to demonstrate how to make that film in the next part of the video. When holding the slides you want to pinch it from the edges and you want to pinch more towards the frosted part of the slide and just be real gentle with them. You never want to touch the broad flat side of it. Touching the broad side of the slide with your fingers will contaminate the slide and could affect the test results. Another way to avoid contamination is you want to use a very clean surface that doesn't have dust on it. I used a cutting board in order to hold up my slides a little bit. I could have just as easily used a clean countertop or something like that. You also want to make sure there's no flies around or animals or kids or anyone that can, you know, touch the slides or get into the slides while they're drying. All right, so first I've got this little purple uh, finger prick thing. So I twist the bottom purple thing, pull it out, set it down. It's it, and you'll and I'm just going to be ready for it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the alcohol wipe that's included in the kit, and I'm going to make my, make sure that my finger is nice and clean, and I'm not going to get an infection. And then I'm going to I prepared a second alcohol wipe right right next to this, you'll see why in a sec. Then I push down, this is a one-time prick, and that thing won't be usable again, so no chance of infection. The first little bit of blood that comes out, it's not useful. So I just wipe that right off. And now I'm squeezing where I had that little pin prick. And I'm tr what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get enough blood out, and I want it to be in kind of a little bubble, like a little little drop, but it's not really working. And I don't know if it's something with my skin or my blood coagulates too quick, but that little purple thing doesn't work really well for me. Um, it doesn't give a deep enough of a, of a wound, so it doesn't give me enough blood. So I switched to this little blue lancet thing, and this hurts a little more, and you don't want to go too deep with it, any deeper than you have to. But um, I did a little bit of a prick, and yeah, just go easy on it, and now I'm trying to just squeeze a little bit more out, real gentle. This You're not trying to force anything. Uh, as you can see, I'm giving myself plenty of time to do this. I'm not rushing it. Just being patient, squeezing a little more out. Just giving it a real gentle squeeze. Not trying to force it. And I'm looking for a proper drop. And you can see it's sort of, it's got a little bit of that drop shape. It's not perfect yet but just trying to get a nice drop. That's gonna to transfer to the slide better. I'm looking to get it to beat up a little bit and it's gonna to transfer to the slide better that way. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the drop now and I'm gonna lift up the slide and bring it, and then I'm gonna bring my finger down towards the edge of the frosted part and just get it on there, transfer a little blood. Now I'm gonna take the other slide, the, the pure clear slide. I'm gonna place it about a 45 degree angle on the blood. I'm gonna pull it towards the frosted bit and then push real smooth, real gentle. I'm not pushing down hard because that'll crush all the evidence of parasites and blood cells. So just real gentle, pull it back and then push it forward. And you see that nice film? It's basically translucent. That's right what we're looking for. Now I'm going to show you my next attempt at making another slide. And so I've already applied the purple single prick one and I'm trying to get some blood, but you can see here, it's kind of flat. I'm not getting that bubble kind of, kind of drop that's held up by surface tension. So it's not quite what I'm looking for yet. And I'm not really happy with it. So you're going to see me wipe this off in a sec here because I'm just not getting enough blood out. I guess the wound kind of closed or I'm starting to coagulate or some combination thereof. So I'm just going to wipe it off with an alcohol wipe and kind of start over. Yeah, so there I am wiping it off. And, 
and now I'm going to grab a blue lancet. All right, so I grabbed the blue lancet. I'm getting a slightly deeper prick, a little deeper wound. So I'm going to get a little bit better blood flow. All right, little prick here. Now I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. The real, real gentle squeeze. I'm not forcing anything. I'm taking my time. Oh, there we go. And this one is coming out. You can see that it's coming out much more drop-like. Um, and it's I'm not having like the flat kind of blood situation. So already there, I'm really happy. That was really quick. So I go near the frosted part as I hold up the slide to it. Oh, that's a beautiful drop. I'm going to pull, hold it at a 45 degree angle roughly, pull it back a little, and then slide it on forward. And this wasn't a perfect kind of thin film, but it does have at least a pretty big part that's thin film. Uh, towards the end of my slide, I guess I got a bit uneven, and so it's thicker. But that's okay. Uh, we just need at least that thin film bit. Once you've made all three of the slides, the slides will need anywhere from 15 to 60 minutes to dry. Exactly how long it takes will depend a bit on how dry your climate is or how humid your climate is. Denver in the winter is extremely dry, so they dry quick. A place like Florida in the summer will dry more slowly and might be closer to an hour. Make sure you're drying the slides in a place with low dust, definitely no flies, no animals, no kids, nobody who's going to touch your hard work. You don't want anything or anyone coming near the surface of your thin film that will contaminate it. After your slides have dried, you're going to want to store them for safe shipping back to the lab. You want to store these carefully so that there will be no damage and the parasitologist will be able to analyze your pristine samples. Here's an example of how not to load the slide holder. See how the slide isn't straight? If you load the slides like that, they can touch other slides and ruin your thin film. This is the correct way to load the slide. The slides are straight and they will make the shipping journey successfully. And remember to only touch the sides of the slides with your fingers. You never want to put your fingers on the thin film portion of the slide where all the blood is.